greetings and welcome to Tekidi Mini MBA. I'm Dubisi Ekekwe. Are we having a conversation essentially on a guideline for course development? But let me begin by thanking you so much for making yourself available to help us on preparing these courses for our young people. We thank you so much for the knowledge you want to impart. We thank you so much for the time that you have also made available. We sincerely appreciate the generosity that you are sharing, especially to young people across the African continent. In our current program, we have students from 16 African countries. Many of them are getting jobs. Many of them are getting promoted. Many of them have great testimonies about what our program actually done in their lives. I am very confident that because of you, greater things will continue to happen. You know, um, it's very fascinating because uh, we are looking for that knowledge, but we have that knowledge. And it's only when people like you can actually come, make your time in this regard, that is when that future that we are looking for this continent will come. From all of us at Nonprofit African Institution of Technology, upon which the Tekidia Institute operates from, we say thank you so much. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your time. You know, Tekidia Mini MBA is a four months online management program. It is not accredited by any institution, and we did not necessarily seek for any in order to give us the flexibility to try so many protocols and frameworks as we pursue that mission of empowering young people, giving them capabilities that they can go into companies and become project champions, productivity champions, and growth champions. Our vision is this. Innovation will drive growth. Growth will drive execution, and great things will happen. And if we can bring a constellation, bringing that innovation, we can see shared prosperity across our economies. It's all about finding a way to bring efficiency in the utilization of factors of production, making it possible that people can connect growth, innovation, and innovation can actually happen because people are building leverageable factors across all ordinances of market it can help us to take the African economy to that promised land and that mountain top, all of us desires. So we have asked for help and thankfully you answered. I just want to show in a very, very short page here what we are expecting as a kind of guideline. We are not the professionals, you are the professional. And what we are trying to do here is to do something that can make it a little bit consistent so that the students can have an order when they are going through this program. So there are two components. It's what we call the written material. And there is another component, what we call the video. Both of them will now make up the lecture materials. So the written material has about minimum of 10 pages, but typical 25 pages, single space, time, square fonts, Microsoft Word. So there you will explain essentially the course you're teaching. If you are working on strategy or for working on innovation, essentially break it down, giving people the theoretical frameworks of what you are actually trying to pass across. Then to make it a little bit more practical, like we ask, let us have flash cases. So a flash case is essentially pick a company one in Africa, one outside Africa. Maybe you can even pick, if you can't find a company, you can pick a government, or you could pick a nonprofit. Anything that is an institution that virtually implemented or utilized the specific thing that you are teaching. Realize that if we can do that, it makes it easier for people to connect easily with those concepts or those frameworks that you are trying to pass across. So we also have what we call the challenge assignment. A challenge assignment is not defined innovation or defined uh, strategy. No, that's not what we're looking at. This is more of 
giving the students a guideline, a kind of an assignment on what they can go back to do in their companies or maybe doing their lives. It could be that you have taken this course on strategy. Can you now design one in the company you work? And they now expect the student to utilize some of the concepts or some of the tools that have already been shared through the coursework. Now, we have also video as a very critical part of this because most of the students actually consume the lecture materials through video. We have a technology tool which I'm also using as I'm making this video for you that makes it possible that you can record every maximum of 15 minutes. It is key because when you record about 15 minute segments, the people that are using extremely low bandwidth broadband system can enjoy that video unlike when you have to record one hour at a go. When you do that one hour at a go, it makes it extremely difficult for, for them to download it. So um, a recommendation is that you break it into pieces. Once it gets to about 14 minutes, you stop, then you continue in another one. When we receive it, we know how we will take care of all those segments. Four to six segments are typical. And that gives you maybe about one hour to one hour 30 minutes of uh, video production. Of course, if you don't need up to that, that's fine. Just do what you think that can actually empower that knowledge into these young people. We are not coming here to dictate because you are the expert. You know what people need for them to get to that destination where you want them to go to. So. Once we receive the materials on the day of the course, we post them on a digital platform. We post the written materials, we post the videos, and typically the written materials are converted into a format. So we're receiving the written material, especially in a Word document, and we will send you a copy of it, or we can also give you access to the platform if you ask for it. So uh, nothing changes. We are just trying to make sure that there is an order. In some cases, we can do some editing just to make sure that um, certain things are taken care of in terms of formatting and alignment. So our programs are self-paced. You will never be scheduled live for, at any time. We put them there, but there are always very great discussions and interactions, usually among all the students and the participants. So they ask questions, and whenever we think we need to get in, we can also get in. But we usually handle those things. We don't usually ask our faculty to come in on legs if they want to, they can also come and participate. Now, um, we are adding what we call a career week. The essence of career week is not to help people get jobs. That's not our focus. Rather to help people plan about their careers. And one of the things we believe vividly that we have to do here will be how can organizations and how can even workers, the people, the students, uh, the constellation of the workers, the students, the companies, how can they improve their own game plans, uh, playbooks in order to improve uh, people's productivity in workplaces? So um, a part of the content we are getting for the, the, the career planning part will also get into the mini MBA, but we plan to have a dedicated week to release those materials in order to give them a more leverageable value so that as they are released, the students throughout the week, we know that this is a week for career. It gives them a, a, a way to plan with a higher level of expectancy that we are going to learn things that can help us plan our careers. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just wanna say thank you so much once again for the opportunity of even speaking before you all in this capacity. Uh, we are so honored that you are helping us, helping the beautiful, great African continent. Have a wonderful day, thank you.